We'll be doing a, a sort of post review of understanding what the total costs are. Tens of millions, hundreds of millions. Can you give us a ballpark feel for it? No, and I think it would be completely wrong to speculate at this point. But it could be hundreds of millions, it sounds like, in which case. Well, it will be a significant amount of money. Right. It's been a serious issue. Yeah. Things have gone wrong with Carillion. But what I think is important is that we don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. We do have lots of public sector contracts with the private sector that work extremely well, whether it's Crossrail, the Docklands Right Railway, uh, energy companies, water companies sure. that have brought down bills for people I, I mean, and are actually providing talk, a great service. I want to talk to you on Obviously, you want to move because on to other things. Because one company has sure. failed. And I, I mean, that on, is wrong. I do want to move on to other things, but I just want to check what, what you're saying is the, the view of the Labour Party that, that this should be the end of outsourcing mm. to the private sector. You completely disagree with. I completely disagree with that. If you think of where we were, it took eight years to build a school. It took months to get your phone connected. We had high bills in areas like water and energy. It was incredibly inefficient. The taxpayer ended up paying for losses made by nationalised companies, ended up raising our tax bills. We don't want to go back to those days when we're an incredibly dynamic economy. We've got all these exciting industries, whether it's artificial intelligence we're leading in the world in, autonomous sure. vehicles. We don't want to throw all that away. There is an old thing.